You know, I remember the early days of App Exchange. You know, frankly, everyone was wondering, is this a test? Are we really going to do this? Are the Salesforce going to stick with this? And of course, the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Working with a partner like Salesforce and knowing that, you know, it's the number one CRM out there really makes a difference for us. We have a saying internally here, we live on planet Salesforce because it is the world's largest software ecosystem. While Salesforce has CRM footprints with tens of thousands of users at accounts, they also really value the small business segment of the market. I definitely feel a lot more powerful using Salesforce, even though I'm just a one person work from home organization. I created an app so that service dog organizations could be more efficient with their data management, and Salesforce really wanted me to succeed with this app. What might take us months to build ourselves, we can literally go into the App Exchange and download it in seconds and customize it and you're up and running. When Encedum was founded, it was founded on the principles that the banking industry was wrought with paper-based processing, manual intensive labor, and we decided from day one that we wanted to be a technology-enabled bank. But we need that backed up with the trust and transparency that bankers need. And that's what the Salesforce platform gives us. Our flagship product, Composer, is built for Salesforce on Salesforce. It was awesome then to receive the email saying your app has been approved. I think I read it like three times, making sure that, okay, this is it's good, it's on the app exchange now. We look today at, at Lightning and Einstein and where the roadmap is going, and they're all integral components of our roadmap. And having app exchange apps that upgrade constantly, just like our Salesforce platform upgrades, that's very important to us. I'm constantly impressed by Trailhead as a platform. They're actually teaching you how to write the code and give you examples of coding. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're software nerds, right? So <laughs> we love this stuff. Having that big partner in Salesforce along for the ride with us, I think gives us swagger every time we walk into a customer. I really like that I can have more time to spend with my kids because of App Exchange. The rest of the work is being done for me. When I hear about Salesforce and Ohana and the environment they're creating in the ecosystem, it feels very natural because those are the values we share. You know, it's funny, I don't think I've ever thought of myself as an entrepreneur before. I feel good being an entrepreneur. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Executive Vice President and General Manager App Exchange at Salesforce, Woodson Martin. Hello, Trailhead DX India. Wow, it is so exciting to be here. This is my very first trip to India, and I am so impressed with all of you. The creativity, the inspiration, the ideas. It's really powerful, it's palpable, and I think everyone from Salesforce is incredibly grateful for all that you are doing to invest in our ecosystem and to help our customers be successful. So for that, I'd like to say a very big thank you for everyone at Salesforce. I also want to thank our ISV partners who are here in the room today. If you're one of our Salesforce ISV partners on the App Exchange, raise your hand. I want to thank you for everything you are doing. Yes, give them a hand, all right. Everything you are doing to make our customers successful on the App Exchange, and I know it's working because that's what they tell me. In this recent survey we conducted in October with more than 200 vice president level and above executives in our customer base, they tell us that they love your stuff. The applications that you are building are helping them increase productivity for their teams, make their users more successful, and help them achieve their business goals. It's incredibly exciting what's happening, and it's all because of your incredible work. So thank you to all of our ISV partners out there. And thank you also to all the consultants. How many of you are work in consulting firms with a listing on the App Exchange? Fantastic, because the App Exchange is not just about apps, it's also about consultants. Yes, the App Exchange today has more than 4,000 solutions that our customers can install directly into their environments, helping them take advantage 
of pre-integrated business applications that extend their CRM applications and help them be successful in all kinds of industries and with a huge variety of business processes. But there are also more than 1,300 consulting firms listed on the App Exchange. If you work for one of those firms and you've been certified as an expert, then that data is on the App Exchange. Our customers can go to your listing and they can see how many certified consultants in each of the Salesforce technologies are there, how many projects those consultants have delivered in specific cities or countries around the world to help them find exactly the right experts to be successful. And of course, we make it easy for our customers to find the right solutions on the App Exchange. So thank you for everything you're doing to help make this ecosystem successful. You know, together, we are having a very big impact. You've probably seen this slide before, but it's worth pausing for a moment to think about what this really means for everyone in this room. Over the next few years, together, we're going to create more than half a million new jobs right here in India. More than four million new jobs around the world in this ecosystem. It's incredibly exciting, the impact that we're having here today. One thing I love about the Salesforce economy is the fact that for every dollar that Salesforce collects in this ecosystem, our partners collect almost six. So there is an enormous opportunity for developers, for entrepreneurs to build in this ecosystem, to monetize what you create, and to create enormous business value for your customers. It's a pretty exciting economy to be part of. And it's more than just growing our businesses. We are helping to make the world a better place. We've adopted the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And I am proud of the work that our ISV ecosystem is doing and that our consulting partner ecosystem is doing, especially around goal number eight, creating decent work and economic growth. If you were in the keynote yesterday, you saw you heard some amazing stories of personal growth, some stories of amazing job opportunity that is translating into economic growth in this ecosystem and for those millions of people who will be working in this ecosystem over the next few years. What makes this possible? Well, of course, it all starts with the Salesforce Customer 360 platform. Yesterday in this room, you saw examples of this technology. You saw blockchain applications. You saw Einstein voice applications. You see how, as Salesforce brings new technologies to the platform, you're able to take advantage of those and build them into functionality that makes them more competitive and deliver even more value to customers. So the technology is a very important part of what makes this possible but it's also the expertise in our ecosystem. Hundreds of our App Exchange partners depend on product development organizations, consulting firms who specialize in helping our partners build applications and make them successful in the marketplace. Many of these organizations, like Extentia, who's here this week, are based right here in India. One of these partners, Code Science, has just released its State of the App Exchange Partners Report, third annual survey. We'll take a look at some of that data in a minute, but one of the things that's most exciting for me about that was looking at investment in the ecosystem. This year to date so far, more than 20% of all investment in SaaS applications has gone into companies building in the App Exchange ecosystem. That's pretty incredible. All right, what is all this translated to? Well, it's translated to a wide variety of successful businesses across a huge number of industries and geographies around the world. In fact, today, there are more than 150 companies, ISVs, growing their business at more than 100% year over year right now. And our customers are taking advantage of that innovation. 
86% of all Salesforce customers, 95% of all Fortune 1000 customers use solutions from the App Exchange today. All of this success is recognized, of course, not only by our partners benefiting from this ecosystem, not only our customers who are getting all this value from our ecosystem, but also from the analysts who look at the market and think about the value being delivered by all these enterprise cloud marketplaces. When Salesforce started and when the App Exchange was launched, it was really the only enterprise cloud marketplace on the planet. Now, all the platforms are building marketplaces because a thriving ecosystem around your platform is what creates an economy like the one that we are seeing today and all the opportunities that are there for you. So great. We've seen a little bit about what's in this for customers. We've seen a little bit about what's in it for partners. How do you take advantage of all of that as a developer who wants to become an entrepreneur? Let's take a look at this. Why do ISVs choose this ecosystem? Well, it really boils down to a couple of big ideas. The first, access to customers. Look at this survey data from the Code Science State of the App Exchange report. The top reason ISVs choose App Exchange, access to the Salesforce installed base. The second reason, gateway to the enterprise, the same idea. How do you get as an entrepreneur, access to some of the largest customers, some of the most sophisticated businesses on the planet, well, it's by partnering in an ecosystem like this one. But it's also about the technology that helps you bring those applications to market faster, and it's about the expertise in the ecosystem that helps you succeed. We boil that down to three simple tenets, technology, expertise, and customers. Okay, great, let's dig into that. Technology, of course, the platform. We saw a lot of this technology here yesterday. And that technology keeps getting better. You saw this list of enhancements that have come out on the Salesforce Customer 360 platform in the winter release. Every three months, exciting new technology that you can take advantage of to make your applications better. And there's so much more. Please do visit this URL to learn more about all the new capabilities you haven't had a chance to explore in the hall this week. Okay, great. And our ISV partners, we saw Encino featured in the video. Trisha Price, who is the chief product officer for Encino, loves the way the technology just keeps rolling out. Loves the fact that she can depend on the trusted platform of Salesforce to deliver innovation to her customers at unprecedented rate. Let's take a look at expertise. What do we mean by expertise? Well, in this ecosystem, you get access not just to tech, but also to the experts who can help you take advantage of that. The partner account managers who help you learn about our program, who bring best practices to the art of doing business in this ecosystem. Our technology evangelists who help you learn about these technologies, help you architect your solutions right the first time. Marketing experts in our team who help you tap in to the opportunity in the Salesforce installed base to learn to go to market the Salesforce way. All this expertise in the marketplace makes it easier and faster to build a business in this ecosystem than anywhere else on the planet. Manoj Ganapathy is the founder and CEO of one of the most exciting companies on the App Exchange today. He's challenging Concur with an amazing business application for managing travel expenses tied deeply to the sales functionality in Sales Cloud. For the first time, he's making it possible for companies to understand the true cost of their selling function and the opportunities they're pursuing by tying all the expenses from those expensive sales teams directly to the opportunities in Salesforce. 
And Manoj depends on the expertise, not only of his account manager, but the technical experts in the ecosystem to make sure he's doing it right the first time and learning to market the Salesforce way. Great. So we've got technology, we've got expertise, and of course, we've got all those customers. More than 150,000 customers in the Salesforce ecosystem, and we make it easy for our partners to access this market with the app exchange itself, where we know more than 86% of these customers come to find solutions to their business challenges, but also through events, events like this one, events like Dreamforce, and all over the world where you can get face-to-face -face with customers who are dedicated to the Salesforce platform and who are looking for answers to the kinds of questions that you can solve. Bob DeSantis, who's the president and COO of Conga, who have built now not one product on the App Exchange, but a whole suite of products for digital document transformation that they have now sold to more than 9,000 customers in the Salesforce ecosystem. They understand how to tap into programs like our App Exchange marketing program, the power of really good marketing material on their App Exchange listing to take advantage of the opportunity that this marketplace has to offer. So, I think there's a great question for us to ask now, which is how can you be like these entrepreneurs finding so much success in this ecosystem? What is the journey from developer to entrepreneur with App Exchange? To help us explore this, I would like to introduce you to my colleague, Srikanth Redikota, senior ISV technical evangelist, who'll tell us all about the journey. Thank, thank you, Srikanth. Thank you, Well, the good news is we have a simple multi-step process for our partners to be successful on App Exchange. So, as they say, it all starts with a great plan. The most successful partners, the one they are in the room as well today, think about Screen Magic, Septus, Astria. I would like to congratulate Screen uh, Septus. They won demo jam yesterday. Congratulations! And partners like that, they have built they have built a solid solid plan to be successful on an app exchange ecosystem. So what is the plan would look like? The plan, you start about thinking what customers you're serving, who are my customers are, and then you start about thinking in those customers who are my users. Once you figure those out, then you need to find out what business functionality they are looking for, and then how do I build a secure uh, solution, secure app? So when you figure out these out, so you, you are in a right path to build a good solution. So you are not alone, to, you are not alone here to figure out how you can plan. So a good plan, you can find it. We have built resources on App Exchange to make it easy for you to go and explore and learn and make a good plan for yourself, for your business. So now that we have a good plan, uh, you have plenty of resources on the partner community to, to learn about how you can plan better, you can plan how, Plan, right, planning right from businesses to building apps to planning for your security review to app exchange market strategy. So once you figure those out, you are in a right path to move forward on the next phases of the uh, partner life cycle that you've seen. So with that said, uh, I would like to quickly take you through a partner community demo. Before I do that, I'd like to introduce my colleague who is there in the booth, uh, Praveen, to take over to the demo. All right, so uh, I am on partners.salesforce.com. As a partner, if you're, the very first thing to, for you to get started is joining partner community. So I come here, I click on join, and then I can learn, if, I, if I'm not very, quite very sure about a partner program, we can learn more about partner program. If you already know about partner program, we recommend you to click join now on partner community, and then that will bring you to the screen. Uh, here, I would like to caution you, that if you want to get the benefits of all the ISV tools, we would recommend you to get, click on Get Username. That will take you to this form where you fill in the details to get a Salesforce username and a partner community access. So 
in the interest of time, we have already done this. So once you fill this form, there are two things that will happen. You will instantly get access to a partner community. And the second thing that happens is you will get access to uh, enterprise edition of Salesforce with the two free licenses. Well, with, with that saying, uh, we, I have logged in here as a happy dream invest. Uh, so I, here on the home page, you see partner alerts. And you will also see all the partner events on the events calendar. So when you move to the collaboration tab, uh, here there are a couple of things I would, I would like to take a note of. If you have any, any technical questions while you're building a solution, or if you have any, any questions to your business, we would highly recommend you to join the two community groups that, is, that you see at the top, to, which can help you connect with us. And one of us will be get in touch with you to help you answer and, and move forward in your journey. Now, as you move to the next tab, uh, here are the resources where you learn everything from partner program versus how you build, how you build your apps on App Exchange. So there are a couple of things I would like to take a note of. So uh, if you click on those trailhead links, that will take you to a page, Build Your Apps on App Exchange, a, a curated content for ISV partners to build your app from the scratch, all the way to listing on App Exchange. And then uh, I would also like you to review App Exchange ISV Technical Success Center. So this is a one-stop stop for all our ISV partners to, l to learn about all the announcements that's happening in the ISV-related technologies, as well as we do uh, regular webinars, and you also have access to past webinars as well. So with that, we would move, we move back to the slides. OK, so we, now we are clear why you, we are clear with the plan. So we know we, we, st we should start with a solid plan. And once you figure out the plan, and then you, you join App Exchange, and then you, you join as a partner, then you're good with the planning. And the next logical step is to build. How do you build on our platform? So it's, it's very simple. So you have seen, in, if you are in the Srinis Town Hall to yesterday, Sinis, sorry, Sinis keynote yesterday, you have seen a, this awesome platform where he talked about blockchain, he talked about mobile, he talked about AI, Einstein Wise, and vision and language. So all of this awesome technology is available for partners for free for you to use and develop solutions. And not only that, you can also use Salesforce DX tools to supercharge your development strategy. So once you have built your app, the next logical step to think about how do you take your app to the customers. So that is where you would basically uh, package your app. So that is, package is a uh, container. Managed package is a container where you, where you have the metadata in the container. And, and then this, this metadata is moved from one arc to the other. So as a partner, as you iterate through your product, so we would recommend you to create a new package version. And then customers would install those new package versions in their respective arcs. So a customer can install your solution into either Scratch arcs, Developer, developer arcs are into production arcs. So we would always encourage customers to first test your solution in their uh, one of their development arcs or the sketch arcs. And then if it works and meets their needs, then customer would install into production arcs. So with that said, now we have seen uh, how to build and how to distribute. Let's, let us also understand Sorry, there seems to be some, OK. So let us also understand how do we package and list the solutions on App Exchange. So again, I, I fall back to my, uh, my colleague in the demonstration to take us through the demo, how we actually build and distribute the solution. So before we start building our solution, there are three things that I would recommend you to consider. So as an App Exchange partner, first thing, make sure, make sure uh, that you log into your partner business arc. The, remember, I just mentioned when you're creating a partner community, so you get access to uh, a Salesforce edition where you have two licenses, given free of cost. You, that is called partner business arc, where you go there and then make sure you have enabled dev hub and second generation package. So once you have dev hub and second generation package are enabled, uh, then go to my domain and make sure you deploy my domain to all your users. If you don't this, if you don't do this, there is a disadvantage for you as a partner. 
uh, that some ISV tools may not be available for you to use uh, in a solution. For example, namespace registry is not available if you don't enable my domain and deploy to your users. So this is a logical step that you should do. The third, third thing that you would do is you would create a separate org, and then where you create a namespace, remember all the managed packages need a namespace prefix. Right? And, and then that org you register to your partner business org, our developer org. And as, as my colleague showed there, we, we have linked already the uh, registry to the uh, PBO. Then the last thing I would like to take you to, as a partner, you have some free benefits. Right? So the benefits are you have two free Salesforce licenses. Not only that, you have 100 free DevOps licenses. So, so that you can, we recommend you to invite all your developers to DevHub, and then they can start development on Partner Business Org by creating Scratch Args. So now we have all our prerequisites uh, that we need to start developing our app. Now I shipped over to the VS Code. We already have built my app. So in the interest of time, we already built the app. And as you could see, uh, my dream, Appy Dream Invest app has Lightning Web Components, Flexi Pages, and it also has uh, uh, lots of CSS, CSS and JavaScript. So I, what I would like to make a notice of is, if you look at the Java, ja, project.json file, that's where you have the names, namespace enabled that we have created in the uh, registry. So there are a couple of things that we would show you here. First, you create a package. For, for the application you have built, and then you create a listing. Once your listing is good, and then, then you link that listing to your partner uh, publishing console. So here we already done those, as my colleague shows here. We have a, looks like we have a package version that is ready to be uh, moved to uh, App Exchange. Now switch the gears and get, again go, get back to partner community and see how we can link, how I can take this solution now to the publishing console. So in the interest of time, again, we have already pre-linked uh, partner community here. So here in the partner community, you come to the organization's tab, and then you link your uh, partner developer edition org, or, or what we call as DevHub, to this uh, publishing console. And then that should automatically bring you all the packages that are part of that particular org. So you would see there are two packages that will show up here. OK, so yeah, there are two packages that show up there. And uh, you are free to select which package you wanted to uh, make publicly available for your customers. So once you are done that, now the next logical step is filling out your listing. So make your listing beautiful uh, have, and, and also give information for your customers. When they visit your solution on App Exchange. they should be able to understand what your solution does and, and what are the various assets that you can create, plus customer can access, and get an understanding of it, and take the solution for their business needs. So we have, we have already done those, all those things here. And alternatively, you can also have uh, lead processing linked to your solution. And you can also offer free trials for your solution for your customers to try out. And finally, you can also have pricing uh, shown up to your customers. Once you have done all these things, uh, when you click on Preview, that will take you to uh, App Exchange listing. And this is what your listing will look like when you're done with all the steps. So I, I could see here, now, now let's, let's take a uh, role switch. I have now come to App Exchange as a customer. I've, I've looked at this uh, application. I could see uh, there's a listing that says Happy Dream Invest. I'm a financial investor, and it looks all good. Oh, it looks like they have a demo, and uh, they have contact information at the bottom. And uh, I can contact them. So the, Switching back to the role of, uh, again, ISV partner, what I notice here is there is a yellow, yellow warning at the top saying, you know, uh, this, is, this app is private. So the reason you see that is we have developed our app, and we have distributed it, and we linked it, but we have not submitted the app for the security review. So the next logical step for an ISV partner, switching back to the slides, next logical step for the ISV partner partner to think about is the security review. Is the security review. So trust is our number one value, and, and, and we make sure that by reviewing all our partners' applications, uh, 
for security vulnerabilities, we make sure that all our customer data is secured. So the security review is mandatory for all the partners, whether it's free or paid. And when, 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 when you have your app security review cleared, then only you will be able to push your app to the pub, uh, app exchange. If you fail, then you will never be able to make it to the public. So those are the two things that I would recommend you to consider. And if you, if you have questions about how do you strategize building your solution uh, and create and, and pass your security review in the first instance, we would highly recommend you to go to trial ahead and take the trial app exchange security review. And that will have all step-by-step -step processes for you to prepare your app for the security review. Well, good. So, uh, so far, we talked about planning, building, and distribution. So we are good with this. This is not enough if you don't do enough marketing, right? So you will not be able to sell if you don't do enough marketing, right? So you should have a marketing strategy. So, so first, thing, first thing that you should be considering in the marketing strategy is think about how, how can you digitalize your uh, listing experience for your customers on App Exchange. Now, how do you drive traffic to uh, App Exchange? And then once you drive the traffic, how do you convert those leads? And then how do you nurture those leads? And then uh, how, do you con how do you make those leads as a paying customers? So those are the things that you should be thinking about in the demand generation strategy. And to accelerate your success on App Exchange, Salesforce is offering a co-marketing program, paid co-marketing program called App Exchange Marketing Program uh, for partners, available for all the partners, all the uh, partners who have a paid app. So with, with this offering, we will help you create a good digital experience, and will help you connect to channel marketing, and not only that, will help you create leads for you. All right. So uh, having the last last stage of this entire journey is the support. Having a great having a great building a great application and having a good marketing strategy is not enough. So you would have seen you would have seen a lot of apps on App Exchange have. Uh, five-star review, and as well as there are apps that have two-star review. The only differentiation between those two are the ones who have five-star rating have, have done a very good from the support, support standpoint. So they have taken care of their customer support. They have taken care of their customer success. So having a good customer success is the key to be succeed, succeeded on the app exchange. So we would recommend you to build a very good support team for your customers to give a, world-class support experience, customer support experience. And with the, our latest partner intelligence offerings, free of cost for the partners again, you can, you can see who are, who's visiting your listings and, what, and you can make out the interactions on how they are dealing with your listings. And you can also understand how your customers are using your app. Right? So, and then using those, you can build your future roadmap for your uh, uh, application and iterate through it. And last but not the least, continue to innovate with your product. So that way you will provide innovation, continuous innovation to your customers by leveraging uh, Salesforce technology, latest Salesforce technology. I think uh, with that said, I would like to invite Sudeep, senior, senior partner account manager, to take us, invite guests on the stage to talk us through how they have gone through this journey and what success they have seen with, after going through this journey. Thank you, Srikanth. Fantastic demo. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sudeep Babu, and I've been with AppExchange for over five years now. And I often interact with a lot of Salesforce developers here, the developer groups, and also entrepreneurs in our ecosystem. India today is becoming a hub for startups and innovation. I'm so, so proud that our ISP partners are leading the way. Right? It's my Privilege today that we have the founders of SMS Magic, uh, and they're going to share some exciting uh, and in insights about how you developers can become entrepreneurs, and entrepreneurs can build a great SaaS business, right? So um, SMS Magic has been with us for like over 10 years, and that's an Indian app exchange partner, by the way, right? They have an app by name SMS Magic Converse. And they have 2,500 customers globally. And what are the customers doing? They are leveraging this app to drive a personalized engagement with their prospects. And because of that personalized engagement, their customers are 
driving an amazing response rate, which results in a 40% higher sales conversion. So they're doing a lot of great stuff and innovation. And uh, without uh, further ado, I would like to first call upon the CTO and co-founder of SMS Magic, Sandeep More. Sandeep, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Sandeep. Yeah, so Sandeep, you have uh, been with the business and technology uh, field for quite some time now, for over a decade. And you started your career as a developer, right? So currently, you run uh, the product strategy and innovation for SMS Magic. So I would like to be more curious to know how it's been the journey from developer to entrepreneur. Yeah, sure, Sandeep. <clears throat> Hello, all. Yeah, so it, it has been a <clears throat> yeah, it has been an amazing journey so far with SMS Magic and Salesforce. So I started my career as a developer and with a strong technology back, uh, background. <clears throat> so what I had a passion was like how to use my technological background to <clears throat> to build up to help uh, help businesses build up great uh, <clears throat> solutions for for their problems and. <clears throat> with my expertise, I, I, I <clears throat> yeah. So uh, with my expertise, I try, I, I, I come up with uh, the like SMS Magic as a product uh, <clears throat> for the yes. yeah. So that's great. So we know you've built a great product. You've built a great team out there. Often we interact with a lot of CTOs, and one of the biggest challenges for CTOs is to have that right product market fit to have the constant innovation going on and to have the right team built. So you seem to have created some magic out there. So want to know what your best practices are and how you got started with it. Yeah, sure. So uh, <clears throat> right from the start, we focused on the product. Uh, we didn't go for services. And we followed a two-pronged product strategy to build our product with the customers. And second, leverage the uh, technology uh, advantage of the uh, provided by the Salesforce platform uh, into building the uh, product. So that was our uh, uh, thing. And right from the start, day one, uh, we chose the Salesforce platform because it was offering us this two, uh, it was supporting our two-pronged strategy. And we just continued along for like less 10 years to building on the Salesforce platform as we go ahead. And from there, like building the team. Uh, so that was one of the like uh, uh, interesting thing to, uh, to do in the product company. So what we did is like uh, product company is a like completely different ball game. So what you do is like, uh, it is like building a football team. So you don't hire 10 goalkeepers because you have like 10 best guys in front of you. Rather, you, you try to hire a good mix of people who will support your product journey, the next phase of the product growth, and <clears throat> it will help you to deliver the promises which, which are like customers are asking you to uh, fulfill. And with that thing, actually, uh, we also stressed a very good uh, thing with, the cust uh, with our uh, team to work with work closely with the salesforce with the uh, app exchange and with the uh, with the like trailheads yeah awesome I, I love that analogy which you gave about the football team and i know a product developer has to wear those different hats he has to be like a developer he has to think about customer success and amazing job so thank you for sharing your insights with us today and i'm sure some of our audience uh, might have picked up some cues to succeed again thank you for joining thank us thank you sadeep yeah with that, now we will uh, dive into how entrepreneurs can build a great SaaS business. That's one of the questions which I often get asked. How do we build a great SaaS business like Salesforce? And uh, we have uh, Nitin with us today. Nitin is the CEO and co-founder of SMS Magic. And we can hear more about how you can build a great SaaS business. So Nitin, thank you for joining us with us today. You have been in the mobile uh, field, the mobile space for quite some time. Even before SMS Magic started, you were an entrepreneur, right? And you built uh, SIM card applications, network-related applications, even before smartphones came into existence. That's, that's amazing. So you started this journey, and it's been quite successful. What I would like to know is the marketplace out there is pretty crowded with SMS apps, <laughs> OK? So how do you stand out? What's unique about SMS Magic? Thank you, Sudeep. Thank you, Salesforce, for coming to India for Trailhead. So we are all enjoying. And thank you for the Salesforce executives. So Sudeep, great question. Uh, we call it the digital engagement market. And I believe that is the next big wave after digital, after advertising, and after social. 
So uh, I believe it's a great opportunity. And what is important is uh, uh, not just to send out our SMS. We call it send and forget or blast and forget. But what's important is to get a response. And our customers are looking to leverage messaging to generate conversations which their sales guys can take forward, close deals. And that's what we do. So we call it the conversation stack, uh, which is a whole uh, new set of technologies with routing, uh, prioritizing the conversations, inboxes. So that's what we do. Uh, so think about it like email in old days. Uh, and kind of anybody can send an email, but they are sophisticated email listening st softwares. They are email marketing softwares. Yeah. Awesome. So you're driving the conversation and increasing the response rate. That's, that's great to know. Now, interestingly, you joined us a decade ago. You've been in the journey with Salesforce through the success. But at that point in time, Salesforce was relatively new in India. And App Exchange was also like probably three years into existence. So now what, what made you uh, come on to App Exchange and uh, work with Salesforce? Yeah, there was no Forrester report at that time. So, but uh, I believed in the Salesforce vision. I heard Mark Benioff and I believed he was truly creating a democratic platform for developers to build apps, for us to list the apps, and for customers to consume these apps. And it has been true to the word. So uh, what we see today is uh, a big platform, but it has been in the making for a long time, and we saw that wave coming. So you caught that wave right at the time and placed your bets, and you have succeeded from zero customers back then to 2,500 customers today. Right, so how has AppExchange helped in this whole journey in acquiring customers? So maybe you can share some insights to some of the entrepreneurs in the room on how they can build great SaaS business on AppExchange. Sure, so uh, before uh, kind of starting my journey with Salesforce, I had been an entrepreneur for four years. So somebody told me that B2B deals are like, you have to play golf with the CEO, and you have to kind of uh, play well with them, you have to know people. So then I heard about App Exchange, and it has been a great journey. So what I would say is that App Exchange not only gives you a platform, but all the tools and resources like what you saw on the demo today. Uh, so my advice to all of you entrepreneurs uh, wanting to be entrepreneurs is pick your audience, kind of go for it. App Exchange is not only going to give you the leads, but also kind of give you the insights about customers. And that's very important. So you are kind of starting with a stack, already established platform where you can uh, get the leads, you can convert the leads, you get a playbook. So the App Exchange playbook is great, and it is a great example for SaaS businesses. Great, and, and also I think you're aligning with the Salesforce teams, the industry's teams, and working closely. That's kind of an investment which will generate a lot of quick wins for you. So, Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. Now, I know there's a lot of innovation happening, and you can talk. we can talk a lot, but it's impressive local company growing global and succeeding. Now, what's next for SMS Magic? Yeah, so <clears throat> I believe we are living in a conversation economy. And our, our goal is to enable thousands of businesses to kind of uh, do conversations with billions of consumers. And they would be transacting deals. They would be initiating deals. They would be serving customers. So I think that is going to happen across all the channels with Facebook, Instagram in India, WhatsApp in India and all the channels in local geographies. So they are going to come at the forefront, and we want to be at the forefront of enabling our customers to leverage these channels, talk to customers, close deals. Wow. Wish you good luck. It's always thank been you. a pleasure working with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, and thank you, guys. Yeah. Back to you, Woodson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sadeep. Thank you, Sandeep, and thank you, Nitin, for an amazing story. Super exciting, what you, the business you are building in the app exchange economy. And thank you for everything you're doing to make customers successful. We are eager for all of you to be able to follow this model. And something I'm excited to communicate today is our commitment to helping Indian developers become entrepreneurs. And so we have a special offer for everyone in the room today. And that is for the first lucky seven to, to prepare and plan and build uh, and prepare your app and submit for a security review, we're going to waive our normal 2,700 US dollar fee. For the first seven of you who were in the room today, make sure your badge was scanned, uh, who submit 
on the App Exchange. And that's exciting, but there's an even more exciting piece, which is the first three of you to successfully pass that security review and bring your app live on the App Exchange will be eligible for one of these free complimentary AMP programs. An email promotion to our installed base, participation in one of our internal demo jams for our sales engineers so they all learn how to demo your product for you, and also a demo jam for customers. These are very valuable tools for introducing a product in the App Exchange ecosystem. With that, I want to wrap with a big thank you to everyone who came out today. Thank you for coming to Trailhead DX India. Thank you for coming to learn about the App Exchange. Now let's go get Appy and build some killer apps. Thank you very much. Because you were born this way, baby.